Maybe we should run for presidency. We fix the country one podcast at a time. One episode at a time. Mm. We fixed my piano. Remember when we got in, there was gatekeeping? Now it's, every, it's open for everyone. <laughs> piano unleashed. <laughs> It's <laughs> open for everyone. Yeah. The floodgates are open. Coming, coming tomorrow, you can't, can't keep us. Huh? <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> biggest song, biggest podcast in the country. Whoa. Yeah. No, man, no one man should have all this power. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Party. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
and it's okay to have a job. Mm. Let's not fool ourselves, guys. Mm. You know, yes, business is good, it's freedom, but it's okay to have a job. Mm. Nigga, some what? people earn a million a month from jobs. Exactly. A job, one job. Yep. Yeah, board no. of directors somewhere CEO. Not in my industry. <laughs> yeah, but Forget. but you how much does your industries. boss at your job earn? Probably. Probably a lot. Exactly. Millions. Eight hundred k a month. Millions. Yeah. Millions a yeah, month. So it's okay to have a job. Yeah. Also, yeah. let's dispel that shit. I love robot salad. It's a, good sometimes. I had a job for like nine years. And now so you still have a job. No, I no. don't. I've stopped. Yeah, this working. Is it now? I was blooming for you, bro. I was blooming for you, bro. I'm not jobbing. Oh, Bloom was great, man. Uh, uh. I loved Bloom. Sorry for being late, guys. I held everybody up because, sorry, apologies, because I was in mid and I was playing previous evening. Yeah. The resident DJs kept on shutting my sound. Yeah, <laughs> for real. You know, when you're rocking three times in one set. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, wait, when has there ever been no shedding in one hour? Three it, times. Yeah. And then it's like, put straight, boy. Like, <laughs> he said the volume, he said the volume is killing the sound, it's killing the electricity. Yeah. You're like, put it straight. You know how they're like, there's no way. You're like, put it straight. Don't at eight o'clock, yeah. the, the, the volume, the gain on yeah. the mixer. Yeah. Don't I, ah, Sol, you're putting it, it's five past. That's why it's killing. <laughs> ah, fuck it, hell. I'm like, nigga, I should be in bloom right now, you motherfuckers. I should have paid you a refund. Hey. Uh, but yeah, man, bloom hey, was hey, amazing. Hey, the fed checker's coming for your spot, ghost lady. Everybody was asking for her. Yo, Is it? everybody. Bloom, bloom, everybody. Yo. Yeah, they forgot yeah. about the ghost lady. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You're all news now. Ah, it's fine. Ah, it's fine. Checker. It's hey, fine. Yeah, 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 then yo. I can remain ghost. <laughs> hey, Fat Chaka, like, what's Fat Chaka? Hey, she challenged you. I like to challenge you. She yes. had you by the balls. <laughs> hey. they, they love her. Eh? They love the Fat Chaka. Ghost Some fact. other chile came up to him. He's like, um, do you guys realize that you're more influential than the government? Ooh. I was like, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually. I was like, yeah. Actually. How are we more influential than the government? How? Uh, for example, oh, example. Mm -hmm. Okay, government. Okay, this is a bad example. This example talks to mainstream media because when Musa Kaula broke uh, the news of Dr. Malinga getting his furniture repossessed, everybody called Dr. Malinga, right? Like your ENCAs, I as former employer, everybody. Wow. It's ENCA, right? <laughs> so I, <laughs> I want to make it his current employer. <laughs> Please don't. Because he doesn't have a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of media houses called him and he was like, nah, because you guys are not, you're going to, you might edit things to suit your narrative. I'm going to podcast and chill. Wow. So the power is there. Uh, I don't have a measure against government, but that's just the measure around, you know, the mainstream. Like like last week, like on Monday, when um, Flubber's killer ex-girlfriend came through, she could have gone anywhere, but she decided on this platform. So I believe that. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, shit, you're right, man. But anyway, speaking about chillers, uh, we asked them to send through uh, voice notes. Yep. So we can answer some questions. Uh, let's play some voice So it's notes, questions yeah. and uh, people's uh, dilemmas and issues, right? Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, let me play. And then? What's going on? I must also roast you in the comments. What comments? No? Ah, don't worry. Okay, it's not showing. It's fine, though. No, it'll hey, show. It'll show. It'll show. I know, show I know what you're trying to right? do. Okay, I continue. I must also roast him also. Continue. What's going on? Ah, nothing. Uh, hey. 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 <laughs> What's going Just on? read, man. Just read. Just read. Read, read, read your things. Read. Do your job. Do your job. Hey, do your job. Okay. Let me find the voice notes. Okay. Hey, this is weird now. Hey. Fat check, are you eating on this? It's not a joke. It's just something I'm like, ha. They roasted me first time. I'm like, ah, I'm like, ah. Okay. Well, it was my computer. All right, cool. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Mac G? It's Christian Throw over here. Now, I just wanted to know which crew member is the one that's mostly afraid of girls. Like, some of them are like, Louis Kwababa, I'm shy. The best, the best Kwababa ever. Who is it? Me. Ah. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Don't li listen. Don't, don't, don't confuse. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
Don't confuse <laughs> being loved by girls to not having a kwababa. Mm-hmm. A lot of girls, you called me, you called me at fucking 1 a.m. And I'm like, my guy, I have a video call. Right? And I see he's trading on Twitter. I'm thinking it's about the Cindy thing. Like, oh, dog, do you make a mistake by interviewing a murderer and stuff? So I'm like, what the fuck is this? Then I call him with three. And I'm like, yo, bro, you miscalled me last night, video call. It's like, yeah, some girls wanted to show you tits. <laughs> they want to show you the tits. And the same shit happened in Botswana. Whoa. Right? He was like, yo, man, I had two girls who want to fuck you so bad. <laughs> and I'm like, how? Oh, thank goodness I left. But you know. Thank goodness I left. I ran away from that action and he knows. So it's me. No, Don't bro. confuse the no. girls who want to. I ran away from action. Bro, the way you handled Tibla's girlfriend, come oh, on. Exactly. No, I have game. That's ah, verbal game. That's the same. Yeah. I have game, but I ran away from trouble because I'm avoiding... A Lula situation. Yeah, that's not a or a photo situation. That's not Kwa Baba. Where my where my ass is now taking pictures of and whatever. I run away from all those situations. Mm. That's a Kwa no. Running away from... Man, I've had girls bang on my hotel room and I'm like, pretend I'm sleeping. You that's know? just being responsible. Yeah. It's not oh. Kwa Baba. Oh, it's not Kwa Baba. Okay, it's not the... De- oh, yeah, I don't have the genuine... I do slightly, though, have yeah. a Kwa Baba. Uh, the genuine yeah. fear no. of... Yeah. No, yeah. no. Stop, to stop taking someone's spot, okay? Okay, All right, okay. the winner okay. is... Whose spot am I taking? Yeah. And the winner is... Wow, Tato! Ah, no, I oh, vote for Tibla. I think oh, Tibla is oh, 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 No, no. Okay. Tibla is... Tibla is a silent killer. The way you said yes. Tibla no. is a silent killer. No, no. Tibla is a silent killer. I believe it. It can't be you. It can't be Aya. It can't be Neo. Simpio, hell fucking no. Oh no. <laughs> Simpio is a rock star. Like. <laughs> Simpio is a rock Mesh, nah. He was born with like. Mesh can't be. You wait at the toilet for the girls. Okay, maybe not Mesh. Maybe Mesh because he doesn't actually Mac, he just shows his dick print. <laughs> yeah, 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 he has a big. He got a, Mesh got a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy for him, right? It's easy for him. <laughs> Yo, who's got the biggest dick in Maligan? <laughs> this is my Q&A. <laughs> Where's the biggest dick in Maligan? Let's vote. All right, guys, you guys are boys. You know. You've, you've stayed there's together. A point in a, there's a point in a boys' relationship where you've seen one another shower. Of and course. It's not, no homo. Or in the That's toilet. Yeah, 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 random. Yeah. Like if I, I fucking lived with Mac, I would have seen his dick. Yeah, like right my now, friends, right? Murisha has got the biggest one. Yeah. Mudisha. Yeah, yeah. Mudisha. And he doesn't even dish it out to girls. So like, <laughs> he's got the most kalawa there. Mudisha, he doesn't fucking... He never dishes out shit. Mudisha, my ass. Okay, not my ass. With that dick. But like, no homo. No homo. Yeah, no no homo. Pause, pause. Oh, Mudisha got the biggest dick. Yeah. For real. Oh, and then there's two Melo, but you guys don't know two Melo. Mm. I'd say two Melo, then Mudisha. T-Money. Okay, I don't know Tume, Tumelo. Tumelo, yeah. So I'd say Tumelo and then Mudisha. <laughs> this is not for us. And then who else? Check, uh, we have mm, Assassin. Number Mood. three. Uh, maybe Tiro. Oh. Tiro. Mm. Hey, Tiro gets the job done. Mm-hmm. And then who else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go. All right, next one. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't answer that, though. Who's got the most kobaba in the crew? I say Tibla. No, I say no. Tibla no. is a silent killer. I say Tato. <laughs> No, oh, definitely that's that the Kwa I mean, I am literally... No, no, no. Kwa Baba, Jens, Kwa Baba. Because you guys have the biggest portion of crew members. Yeah. It can't be you, bro. Can't I am police. Be. So, please. we need to answer this, though. I say Tato. I say Tato. There's no one. Okay, let's move on. Ah, okay, there's no one at Kwa Baba. You should have asked who gets the least action. That has an answer. Who? But Kwa Baba, no, I don't know, but... Who do you think? Statistically, mm. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Statistically. Oh. Jason. Statistically. Um, Jason. Shout out to the team. Hey, shit. Yeah, I'll... Hey. It's Jason. Yeah, I agree. I concur. I concur. Yeah, yeah, I concur. yeah no, 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 I concur. no. Yeah, no. Jason yeah. needs to step up his game. <laughs> no, Jason. Jason. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? All right, let's go. Next one. <coughs> In the. Hey, hey, I'm going to tell you about the studio. Hey, 
I would like to know what the when the Antempe Ocost ladies symbol. I would think for no bone, what they, yeah, when Fizzle was, yeah, he looked on Jake Wade. And for no bone, I'm a well, well, Ghost lady, do you ever want to be seen? Pendula. No, no, guys. I'm so happy on this seat. Mm. You I'm sure? Fine. I'm fine. Mm. I'm fine. Uh, I'm. What do you mean? Am I sure? You're actually very fine. Like you, yeah. I envy you a lot Yo, of times. I'm still very, very at peace, guys. I'm okay. She gets to enjoy the podcast without all the bullshit. Yeah. 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 No thing. No one advises you on how to do a job. This I can week, come to. Like, oh. I can. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You had too much to drink this week. Oh shit. Yeah. So someone was saying that at a time. Oh shit. So should have said a woman get away with murder. Like, like, oh yeah, he should have said it fully. The fact that he didn't say it fully says a lot about him not expressing himself, all those oh. things. And I'm like, dude, it was that was a joke, not saying it fully. Yeah. So all those things, you don't have to fucking the go wildest, through. The wildest thing he told me is that uh, he was out with these women. And then a chiller came up to him and was like, hey, my man, is that your roadkill? Oh, 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 <laughs> Literally. Oh, and that's his oh, woman. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't no one ever called your woman roadkill? Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I never okay. frequent with her in public that much. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> why don't you, why why don't you frequent with her in public? Nah, because like I'm always busy, dog. Like we don't spend that much time out. No, you guys do. What Wait. do you mean? You guys do. I've... Uh, in Dubai. <laughs> yeah, that's out of the country. Yeah, but hey, like... Levels, yeah. How are you? I don't hey, understand, bro. Did I say respect? <laughs> 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 Say respect to buy. <laughs> but I mean, do I? <laughs> Whatever, to buy. Dubai. Dubai. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, I don't go that out. No. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, fair enough. And you stay in Centurion, so it's like, there's no one there. Like, yeah, yeah, we're always at home. If I'm not at work, I'm at home. Yeah, me, I'm at home a lot. But I get you. But yeah, yeah that happened. Mm. I'm like, yeah, it did. I'm like, hey, man, what the Jeez. fuck, bro? <laughs> hey. I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Maybe people just uh, find it difficult to separate the fuckery that we go on about here on the show. That actually, you know, we still nah, go home nah, and be Oh, home. yeah, people think we like this 24-7. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, so when they see them, they, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Close people who know me, obviously, that I'm a ghost lady. Sometimes I feel like they're expecting the ghost lady. And I'm just like, you find very, I'm like, just. And not. People would be very disappointed if we had like a reality show. Oh yeah, because we are so boring. You, you, you are, would be. Are. You would we be. We are so boring. You would be like you would. <laughs> like be literally, extreme. we are boring. We are. Man, I'm boring. Too much. He knows I'm boring. I'm the most yeah. boring person ever. And if you met in person, I'm boring. Like oh yeah, yeah. It's just a weird thing, and it's not like what we are here. You would agree. Yeah. And you said people expect the ghost lady. It's not like you're not being yourself. You no, are. I am. But it's yeah. just another. Like, Facet, face, or element, and it's triggered and by all of this it. when we're yeah, chatting. It's triggered by yeah, the comfort number one, the comfort yep. of everybody. That's like family, right? Yeah, yeah. Number one, the comfort of everyone. So if you were to put us without the cameras, it would probably still be like this, right? But it's because of that's why whenever people say, and you probably get it a lot, also you yeah. and everybody else. Hey, can you come chill and watch the podcast? I'm like, it really gets awkward oh, when you've no. got spectators, like a lot of spectators, because it doesn't become the, the energy is not right. Yeah. yeah, energy is different. So I'm like, oh, we can't. Not that we're being funny, but because of we preserve this so that we can be in our comfort zone, mm. yeah. the way we are here. Yeah. yeah, but not that we're complaining. I mean, we chose no. to do this, so we're not complaining. No, no, no. It's no, no. That it would be nice to be a ghost lady for one week. Yeah, bump, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bump to someone. Like I like, choose. Sometimes I don't even go to attend to the branches because, like, ha, huh, well, no one knows me. So whether I'm there or not, sometimes I'm there and I'm able to just light. Yeah, right sometimes in. you're there. It'd be, it'd be funny if you come to one of the branches. Like, have you seen the ghost lady? <laughs> 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 All right, next one. Next one. <laughs> Next one. But I, I you hey, enjoy you enjoy being famous. Ooh, whoa, oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Aya is famous for all of us. Whoa! To answer that, come to the Aya has merch. Aya is coming. Yo, 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 guys. Aya, don't answer it. 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 Don't answer it.
circle without Please. sitting here. Please. Come Please. to there. Oh, 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 this is your moment. I, 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 I know you are. Oh, yeah. No, I, 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 we all know oh, you are. Yeah. Yeah. Own it. Oh, yeah. This is your opportunity. Are there any of these pictures of you selling like hotcakes on t shirts? So just they know your face already. I just handled it better. I handled it. I handled it better. No, no, I'm saying. Come, come on, come on. Dog, come on. You know what's but, but you've been wanting to be famous, dog. You be know honest. what's not gonna do for you, Yeah, because of a lot of reasons. Though. Why? Wow. I can change a lot of stuff when I have fame. Oh. Um, mm. I get that. Fame, fame comes with money. Money comes with power. With power, you can change a lot of stuff. And mm. what would you like to change? Aya is one of the guys who. I think that's why the I can game. Hold on, studied the game to a point that he knows the currency of fame, the currency of being hot, yep. of being it and happening. And I feel like sometimes when he observes people who are famous but not coining it or whatever, he gets frustrated because it's like, oh, I want that. That's why I'm like, come, come on to the scene. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Maybe he wants Max to seat. You know what's going to equate to you? <laughs> okay, hey, but offer him your seat. <laughs> Actually, you're right. No, offer him your seat. <laughs> That's not the idea. I don't want that. Oh, <laughs> the beauty. Yeah. I want the, the the other president. Seat. <laughs> president. I enjoy being famous. He loves being famous. He enjoys it, yeah. I, are you ready to be famous? Like, I, proper I can, famous? I can handle it, dog. I've, I, are you as you, sure? As you, as you said, I studied the game from the outside. I was, I was, well, I was unfortunate but lucky enough to be stuck outside the game mm. to study the game to a point where I know how to move. When I'm actually famous, that's how his enemy did it. That's how. He, that's why he's, he's doing it so well. Who's who's the enemy? Oh. Kess is coining. He's, he's been coining it from the get go, and he's still coining it. Because he studied the game from the outside. He was closed out. Oh. So he's, he chose to study the game. Who? So, so that when he's famous, he could do so, the stuff he's doing. I think you're going to so, lose that position. So, hold on, man. <laughs> no, guys, look, look at Kespa's journey. From when he was beefing with AK, how he used that. From to the, the point, beginning. To the point now where he AK is, is trying to beef with Casper. Now AK wants to beef it's back the, yeah, so yeah. that he can be, get it's back so, to the, the game. It's the weirdest thing ever. But he got nasty, he's fine. Are they AK. beefing again now? No, did you see that video? Huh? <laughs> yeah. So they were, I don't know if they were at the same venue, yeah. but Casper and AK mm. were the same venue. And uh, 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 AKA performed composure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so take Cash this ball. shit, nigga. <laughs> take he, he was like, yo, it's all live and all, but it was time to beat, it's time to beat. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then, oh, did he take that? He said, take this shit. And then the, 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 the guy with the phone pens to camera, mm -hmm. to, to Casper. Pens to Casper's watching the AKA. <laughs> and you can't even see Casper, but you can see the frame and the yeah. beard. And the guy. <laughs> anyway, next question. Hey. Anele from a tech stop. Um, shout out to the team. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I also have this uh, crazy out. dilemma I've always wanted to. Hey, ask don't you me. feel like you're on radio when you're doing yeah, the voice notes? <laughs> hey, I was about to say, hey, we're playing voice notes now. Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put me. What is this one now? What? Nine five nine break fast. It's a bit. Fast forward it a bit. Okay. Wait, fast forward. Uh, let's say you are involved in a two car crash on your way to work one morning in which you accidentally hit and kill a pedestrian. Eh? Oh. As you get out of the car, you are anticipated by a tearful woman who seems to think that she hit and killed the pedestrian. You are not sure why she thinks she hit the person, but she is convinced there's only you. Well, the le, in the one, 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 in the pedestrian, ah, in the one, skip that shit, dog. Skip that shit, bro. No, I'm serious. What the hell? <laughs> We've been trying to you make it faster. Guys, hey. I've got a big, big, big problem, man. Uh, I have a girlfriend, and this other side chick. Oh, this side chick gives me nice pornacos. But now, the girlfriend is like, and I work at a club. I'm a club DJ, and then I'm also a club manager. You see, so it gets. Tricky at times because of I always come home late, and then when I want bring up with someone, it's like, uh, no, not now, you are never home. But then I'm trying for both of us, for gee, we must survive, you know. Hey, but the side chick, oh, the bring up was perfect, oh, it's just on another level. But I don't love the side chick, I love my girlfriend, but my girlfriend is not giving me what I want. What do I do? Mm. 
Hey, bro, mm. leave your girlfriend. It's simple. Mm. Bro, if you're in love with a person and you're with a person in a relationship and they love you, yeah. they'll give you sex anytime. Mm. If I'm with a woman, she wakes me up at two o'clock coming from work. She's a petrol attendant. I'll pump her. <laughs> <laughs> Drop this fucking thing of yours. <laughs> Unleaded. 94 rounds. <laughs> Full tank. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll pump her. <laughs> it's that simple. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if. Let's, guys, I gotta be, if you're with someone who loves you, anytime you want sex, even if in the you two or eight, I mean, I'm in Epsugo. And you wake up, no one, you're horny. They'll give you ass. Yeah. Or dick. Unless someone is sick or not feeling well or not in the right mood. Of which you would have known before Lala. Mm. Right? That she just got bad news or you made her cry or whatever. Therefore, you can't fuck her. You can't have sex. Mm. But there's no way. If you would, someone you love. Oh, because you're ready to have sex with him anytime. So you're guessing this guy doesn't love his... his no, the, he's saying he's a club DJ. Mm. When he comes home sometimes at 2 a.m., his woman is not giving him action. Mm. But the side chick is forever ready to have action. And mm. mm. Unfortunately, when you love someone, you really enjoy having sex with them. Exactly. Yes. At any time, any day. Mm. When you're ready, and you, physically and emotionally, you mm. just... <laughs> Listen to this one. I'm reading this one. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, sorry, man. Sorry to cut you off. Cool, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> please, keep, please keep me unidentified. I met my girlfriend a few weeks ago and she told me that she's a virgin. So she visited me yesterday and ended up fingering her. As I was fingering her, she asked me to finger her with two fingers. So my question is, is it possible for a virgin to ask to be fingered with two fingers? <laughs> <laughs> She's capping, bro. She's not a virgin, man. <laughs> She's capping. <laughs> Two fingers. Hey. <laughs> That's for pros, bro. Maybe she just likes finger action. Yeah. Maybe that's all she likes. Nah, 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 nah. But let's be honest, guys. If, uh, nah, yeah. a virgin wouldn't suggest. <laughs> Virgins are not suggesting. <laughs> they don't suggest. No. Even doggy style, they don't suggest. They don't suggest changing positions. They don't know shit. They don't know shit. Uh, uh, well, you get virgins who know a lot about uh, sex. Uh, yeah, yeah, you get, yeah, you, you get yeah, virgins yeah, that yeah. know a lot about sex. Hi, uh, Fed Jagger, what you talking about? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, agrees, a virgin, look, I understand everybody. Maybe How can watch you know something porn? about something you know nothing about? Exactly. Because of just... Conversations ah. and you, you've like, ah, talking about practical, and reading, that's everything. theory. That's theory. We're talking about practical, but okay, maybe maybe she's explored herself and maybe understands and likes the idea of maybe two, two fingers. Yeah. Okay, let's take it she back. She just likes to foreplay. An, take it back, take it back, take it back to when like you guys lost your virginity, right? Mm -hmm. Were you suggestive in because guys can be. Because they consume a lot of porn, right? So a lot of guys, when they lose their virginity, if they lost further than missionary, they would suggest doggy style. Happens with every guy, right? Because yeah. it's like that position. But are you guys suggestive to the point that you're saying... No, no, no. To okay. feeing up? No, I or wasn't personally feet. suggestive, no. Two <laughs> 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 Like the one in quotes, imagine... <laughs> Two feet. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys suggestive? I've never come across that. Yeah, I've come I'm... across virgins. Not that I came across them, but <laughs> I've come across... <laughs> I yeah, didn't come you... across them, like, but I've came across them. <laughs> Some of them were even afraid to do doggy because of, like, they're thinking I want to, you oh, know, yeah. it's, I want to suggest anal or whatever. So you're already suggesting doggy on her first... Time. I don't know it's a first sometimes. Oh, it's like, whoa. Yeah, but I am because it's like I'm thinking, well, it's a sexual position. How different is it from missionary? I guess people's experiences are different. Well, are you saying yeah. doggy is for non-virgins? No, no, no. I'm just like, oh. whoa, you did a lot of positions for the first time. That's what I'm just like, whoa. Is, is two fingers better than one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. Maybe the more the merrier. You never know. Oh, the more the merrier. You never know. So if 
she wants more, marry her. <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> This nigga by the size of it, it sounds like he's gonna end up putting his hand. <laughs> the guy's just small fingers. That also could Maybe, be the problem. Bro, like, oh, yeah. yes, the guy's got small fingers. fingers. Yeah. Uh, you were saying, I wish I could why lend that guy Aya. a hand. <laughs> Aya, why are you crying so much? <laughs> I wish I could lend him a hand. Fat checker. Fuck a finger. Fat checker. You were agreeing with Ghost Lady, yeah? I saw you nodding your head. Yes. Yeah. That virgins can't suggest. And you, or, you're still a virgin, right? Yes, very much. Because of, oh. <laughs> um, just to say something, I'm not sure, I'm not an expert, but I believe that down there, it's a muscle. And like a muscle, it can stretch and relax. Mm. So whether it's five, two, hey. one, <laughs> it depends on no, the No, 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 she's right, though. It's a muscle. It's a muscle. Guys, so. let's be honest. All of us, unless your parent is there, nothing wrong with that. We're all, all our heads were popped out of a vagina. Yes, it's a muscle. So you can find that her muscle has relaxed to a point where she felt as if she can't feel one. So even if you're a virgin, your muscles can relax. It's, it's a muscle. And if you are aroused, it will, you know, relax. <sighs> so, yeah, it's a muscle. But yeah, to answer that, there are some versions who do foreplay. Not all people get penetrated yes. by the thing. Mm. But they do go all the way to other things. And I guess it's just to keep the mystery of things. So, yes, she might not have had someone penetrate through her. But there have been other things through there. Hey, she's brave, man. Oh, and I've heard of virgins who only do anal. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. Have, white that, girls like that. That have come across because <laughs> our black cause girls are doing it too. Our black girls are doing that. Damn. Yeah. So they're preserving. So why are you saying they're aye, preserving? Aye. Why are you saying the aye? vagina for the the guy? Yeah, the the the, the, the husband, the guy they're gonna marry. <laughs> or even some. Is, am I correct to say even some women when they cheat, some will cheat anally, How? so that they. Preserve the vagina. Oh, the I never thought of it that, that way. Is oh. that possible? I guess so. Yeah. Hey, wow. Wow. Ah. Hey, today it's sex and chill, eh? Hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just this one question. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, hey. hey. Okay, the question was the, what was the question? He told us that the. Is it possible for a virgin to ask to be fingered with two fingers? So oh, so the yes. answer is yes. 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 The answer yes. is yes. A virgin can yeah. ask for one, two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, five fingers. Yes, because it's a muscle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And the mouth afterwards. <laughs> yes, everything. His finger looking good. Yeah, bro. Uh, here's another one. Hey, y'all, chillers are horny, eh? Yo, Mick, what up? Um, this is called to me. Uh, uh, I'm telling this person because I, I have a dilemma with my girl um, about, about me finding a job, you know, or me continuing with this music thing because I believe this music thing, you know, could get me out of this mess. But I don't think she believes. She you can't need anything. A nine to five job, you know. Oh, it's too fast. Should I stop you this know, music you know. thing? No, I haven't heard it before. Why would I ever believe? Follow. Yeah. Oh, okay. You'll t translate then. I can't hear. Play it. Sorry. Sorry to disturb everyone, but play it again. Go and find a job, you know, and focus on this job. Because when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do, straight to music. Before I sleep, music. You know. So, I send you one of the songs right now, and. I'm not, I'm not saying rate my uh, rate my, my music or judge me. I'm just saying hey, uh. Do what the hard ones. If he wants to do music, continue doing music, man. Okay, please summarize that because it's fast, uh, too fast he, for he, He's trying to get a job, but he's a musician, so uh, the girlfriend's not too happy about that. She wants him to drop the music. Oh. Don't fucking drop the music. Yeah. Is, is it what he enjoys? <laughs> 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 don't drop the music <laughs> There's a reason why you don't sign <laughs> Don't drop the music <laughs> Keep pushing for your career Your, your passion <laughs> Don't drop the music uh, You're saying cause lady no, no, I was asking, saying that, is that what he enjoys? He enjoys music, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, he should stick to his passion, whatever he loves. Of course. Ah, uh, but it depends. On what? Guy, here's the thing, right? Mm. Is it just a, like, we need more context. Is it just a girlfriend? If it's just a girlfriend who stays in her home, or Google, it's fine. If it's a girlfriend and they're serious, they've got a kid and oh, whatnot, yeah. family love comes first. Yeah. 
But if it's just a kid, a girlfriend, and that's it, push your passion, dog. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? But if you've, you, you've impregnated her, that's the cost you pay for impregnating her. The priority must be her and the child. But regardless, man, I think you should push your passion either way, man. Sometimes you get a girl who doesn't understand. Then you that's see, not your girl. You man. had Ziggy, right? Mm. And it, the radio thing didn't work out. At some point, you didn't have a podcast. Things yeah, were bad. Yeah. Yeah. Probably at some point, she bought bread for a day or two oh, yeah, or yeah. a month or a year or yeah, two yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She even came up with the grand Joe idea. Mm -hmm. So if you've got that kind of quality of a woman, she'll allow you to be. But if he's sending us voice notes, she doesn't have that quality of a woman. But even if she didn't, I'd still pursue uh, my passion. Passion of everything. If she, yeah, because at the end of the day, you are the one who has to be happy with what you do. Yes, I'm not gonna do a job just to please my woman. Yes. Yeah, yeah but in this really yes. passion and lean. No, no, uh, but I get it. Passion got us here. We're all here because of passion. And if yeah, no, Melligan, Melligan dropped out of school, right? To follow their passion. Yeah, Mash dropped out of school. Yeah, no, yeah. Mash. Nigga. Tibla, Tibla is doing his honors. Tibla is doing his honors. Tibla is doing his honors. Blackie, like rest in peace. He was studying hard. Yeah. Yeah. Mash dropped out of school. Yeah, that was Mash. Them niggas are focused. Oh. He, he was fighting for... Now fight, fought for fees, yes, dog. Yes, he Fucking hell. Niggas did too much. Yeah. Too this. much for education. Yeah. But I get what you mean. Mm. You know, like... If... It comes to a point of choosing your passion over your woman, and your woman is not supporting your passion. Is that even your woman? Especially if there's no kids involved. When there are kids, it's tricky, but also she can work. Let's be honest, guys. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm, she can work. Mm. Like just to keep the lights on. The nigga eventually will pop and work to buy the retirement home, the passion. But if you've got a person, oh, oh, I'm always against that. I'm sorry. But what if I'm it's always music? Or, you know, okay, if he's really passionate about music, what if it's not really that dope? No. That's another Like maybe the woman is just like, it's trying thing. to say, fine, go to work. Because we are born who could listen. And this, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> That's why I so said, don't drop the music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. No, no, what must he do though? Yo, bro, here's the thing. If Is the music dope? That that's the thing. He's gonna say it's dope. It's his music. Come on. <sighs> Cause let's be honest, for every rapper or every DJ or every artist that makes it, there's ten thousand, hundred thousand yeah. who don't make it. Yeah. And yeah. some, those who don't make it, but party, it's great music. But majority the music is shit. Mm, mm. Let's be honest. Mm. So it's always tricky. I, there's no answer for that. Mm. Cause is the music amazing? Are you talented? Yeah, or you're just passionate, but because you can be passionate and not talented. That's the truth people don't want to mention. You uh, can but be. But you must keep on pushing. Look at me. It took me 10 years to have a hit. No, no. Okay. Yeah, but. <laughs> I that, kept on pushing. You have a hit because of the success of the podcast. <laughs> you see, yeah. it's different. Musically, you don't produce much. Yeah. You're not as great as you are a broadcaster. Yeah. You know, but uh. you pop as a broadcaster, therefore you can do that. Yeah. But his sole thing is. Music, yeah, and if it's shit, like if you were focused on music and you are shit at music, as Lufuno. as you, as oh, yeah, as Lufuno, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, it can't be a primary hustle, yeah, to mm -hmm. get me. Mm -hmm. So, if your primary hustle, you're not good at it, maybe it's time to change. Uh, please ask each member of the team which political party they would vote for and why. Cause lady, who are you voting for and why? Oh, I think I, I was I was thinking. Um, what is it? Action essay. I've okay. been trying to like watch them and see, see him and yeah. where is he going? Because yeah. I'm just all about something new. I, it's something new, guys. We need something new. Did you hear that the guy who started Action essay, um, Herman Mashaba, wants to leave because the party. He wants to go in coalition with ANC. Mm. Really? So are you still gonna, are you still gonna vote? Uh, no, no. <laughs> At this rate, the of are to vote for UTM or something, some just random party. You fat checker? You're not voting. Oh. You're not voting. Hey. Hey, now ah. the mic, now the mic is, is not working. Oh, hey, okay, hey, 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 h
I'm not voting. Yeah, it's, what? It's a waste of time. It's going to be a holiday. I don't believe in our voting system, so mm. I'm not voting. Why don't you Why? believe in the voting system? So you voting system, not the political system. Why don't you believe in the voting system? And what system would you rather have they put in place? Like social media? Make Something it easier like for you. Yeah, like state, uh, Instagram I'll states as well. vote the way in which Twitter the party poll. system. <laughs> <laughs> not Twitter vote. Not physically going in. into, not physically voting, but the whole party system for me is, it's The it's political not system. Yes, yeah, the political, okay, our That's political I system. That. I just don't believe in it. There's no right party, so it's going to be a holiday for me. Hmm. Mm, mm. I agree with him, man. That's a nice cop out. Yeah. You're copping out also. There's no party that speaks to me, bro. Mac, mm. have you ever voted? No, I've never. Yeah, if I read, if I read you though, if we had to answer, I'd have an answer. But if I read you, like, there's no party. You know what we need? We need, a, we about. need a rebel. We need a Donald Trump. Someone who's just going to go there and tell the truth. Malema used to be a rebel. What happened to oh, him? Oh, no. Yeah, come oh. on. Come on. Oi. If I don't know, Mike. Now all of the sober thoughts, especially around politics, mm. and well, his opinion on politics. Yeah, you're saying no? No, I'm, I'm not gonna vote. You know, yeah. there's no, there's no party that speaks to the people of South Africa. Yeah. Currently. Currently, yeah. And I don't think there's gonna ever be a party that's gonna speak to the people of South Africa. What ever, do you mean ever? speak? And By speak, do you mean promises or delivery? Delivery. Because they all speak the language of the people. Okay, but I think, you know, delivery is the main thing that we need, and. Um, the political system at large, you know, um, um, how, 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 how our judiciary is systemed and everything is built. Everything is totally, you know, yeah, it's a mess in South Africa. So I think if we had uh, 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 single candidates running, mm. maybe something will, you know, mm. will work. Mm. Mm. As well as, as, as that system that Makaba always talks, uh, uh, speaks about, you know, if, mm. if we had a disruption that's gonna cause you know wash out the whole political system you know like how c cryptocurrency is doing to the something financial automated system. That yeah speaks something to the automated of what's yeah, yeah, you know, way in that but that, that it like that's why podcasting is big and mainstream media is dead because yeah. people are yearning for the truth that's it the that's facts it. speak to those that's it without filtering anything yes. yeah, yeah and, and it, you're right right yeah. here's the fiscus here's the budget roads this 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 oh is there a crime Oh, fuck. What would cause people not to commit crime? Death sentence, put it up. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Mm. And so forth and so forth. And you, who you voting yeah, for? Yeah, who you so? Well, me too. There's no one. That's, There's no one, bro. Like I said, like if I was, I had a gun to my head mm. and say, yeah, I'll choose someone, an alternative, definitely an alternative from the ANC, but freely, like you said, no one really is like, oh, okay. It seems like yeah, everybody just wants a seat or two or three yes. or four or fifty and mm. eat. Mm. Mm. No one really is like mm. going to do the right in, thing. But apparently in 2024, there was going to be oh, independent... Uh -huh. Mackenzie, Gayton, mm. I might. Mm. Gayton, I might. You know, mm. I know his stronghold is in the Western Cape. Yeah. But nationally, mm. possibly. You know, he's got some sober, lawful yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Lawful. Because every country has laws, guys. And laws... Need to be followed. Yeah, I don't know much about him, but uh, a lot of people seem to be liking him mm. and what he's doing. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. And what he's doing there by the Karoo. Mm. And the, someone in the Western there. Cape is a mayor and he seems to be doing an incredible job. I saw the mayor <laughs> of, of Joburg, the outgoing one or the gone one, Mpo Palati, has been fighting and tweeting and, you know, and he was saying, if ever I'm chosen to leave or elected or by some vote of no confidence and he tagged um kenny Gunene and he said take my phone away i don't want to be the embarrass myself tweeting and stuff like that so i relate with him more especially i mean he's been to the pits he's he used to be a prisoner he was arrested so he knows how it feels to have nothing and now being a place of service to people yeah and i think we should interview him at some point on mm, the podcast definitely we've given some people platforms you know definitely. and i think his party deserves one and as a head of his party we should maybe we should run for presidency we fix the country one podcast at a time 
one episode at a time. Mm. We fixed my piano. Remember when we got in, there was gatekeeping? Now it's, every, it's open for everyone. <laughs> piano unleashed. <laughs> It's open for everyone. Yeah. The flag coming, is the open. Coming though. tomorrow, you can't keep, keep us. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> biggest song, biggest podcast in the country. Whoa. Yeah. No, man, no one man should have all this power. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pori. Oh. Oh, Pori. Oh, Pori. No one man should have all the power. <laughs> did, you, did you see uh, after, uh, when Cantini was picking up steam? <laughs> they dropped Bastrata. Hey, these fuckers. <laughs> but no, no, let's be honest. Thing is, I'm That's a DJ. You're is. a DJ. We, I download music like every two weeks. I download the music on Monday. Yeah. A lot of times, some of it is shit. It's garbage, right? Yeah. From unknown artists and known artists. Mm. I downloaded two gigs of two weeks. I didn't download music, piano, strictly. And on Monday, I downloaded two weeks, two gigs, 2.4 gigs. Mm. And one song was like 12 megabytes. You know, Pasta dropped an album now. Mm-mm. Oh, Pasta just dropped an album. Mm. Like 14 songs, just some really amazing mu- songs. It's, he's wearing like a, 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 a yellow um, hoodie and on the album sleeve. So where are we getting here? What, what I'm trying to say is, piano niggas drop music. Mm-hmm. And some will be amazing songs. Like, Bastard just dropped amazing songs. Yeah. Melo and Sleazy dropped an album now, like a few months ago. No yeah. one was going to talk about it. They'll talk about one song or two songs. Jazzy just dropped a compilation where he's wearing that red uh, uh, hat. Like, you know what I mean? With a black uh, background. Yeah, but most of it is strategic. So I, I just think piano songs have a short lifespan, especially no, the no, hit no, songs. no, definitely, definitely. Especially oh, the hit yeah, song. yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not disputing that. I'm just saying it's not a coincidence that it, it that, that the song is picking up. It is, bro. That's how you kill a song. It is, it is, guys. Is okay, 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 okay. Song? Which song has killed Kusela? Yeah. Oh, whoa. No man, that's that's not a club song. That's like a timeless song. Those the ones club lost... songs in their nature yeah. get killed every two, three weeks. <laughs> okay. In their nature. Okay, you know what? You know what? Just to prove a point, I'll drop a a, a another song now to kill that one. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drop. <laughs> to kill so it's because it's yeah. a hot yes, song. Every... It's deliberate. Because okay. Vastrata is picking up now. I'm gonna mm. drop another one. Another hit. Drop. Irpe. Drop. Irpe. Irpe. Fucking four pairs. Four, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just piano, it's how it works. Mm. Especially like with the club songs. With the classic songs, you could drop uh, Nanatula today in the club. It'll go erupt. Yeah. Even the hit songs, like you could drop Perry's. Um, Boom, boom, boom. I will still do damage if you're mixing it right with song selection and stuff, the mood. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't think they just want to drop uh, Kim Cantini. There's always some piano producer with an arsenal of hits. And he's like, I know this is timeless. I can drop it any time. Then there's hits that are sound, sound uh, 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 themed. Like the... Th- <laughs> The sound of today is this. So if you don't drop it today, hey man, you can't work. you can't go to war with this nigga talk. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't go to war with this nigga talk. He's literally saying, "Hey, and what? Let's go pour my da boy. Let's let's listen to them. What are they saying? Let's hear them out." Nah, <laughs> I mean, shoot, dog. Shut up. <laughs> Here's what I'm saying, right? Most producers have hits <laughs> that you need to drop now. Nah, it's not about that now, dog. Because the We're sound is now. We're at war. And then, we're at war. But that's not your time. Ah, at war, she's not far. Hey, man. That's not your time at war. Drop her. Drop her. What's up to you? I'm going to pull my shot. I'm going to pull my shot. I'm going to pull my shot. I'm going to pull You can't go to war with him, man. You can't go to war with him. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. In a bro. war of fact. Yes. Anyway, ghost lady. <laughs> are, we, are, we, are, we, are we done? There's another question I have here, guys. Okay, cool. What's the question? Oh, you don't have any more there. Okay, cool. Uh, oh. There was a question. My mom's friend is now my blesser. My, my mom's boyfriend is now my blesser. Really? Jeez. My mom's 
Should I continue or should I end? Is mm. this a female now? Yes. Mm, mm, the female. Mm. Yes. Her mom. Yes. Her mom's boyfriend. Her stepfather. Her stepfather who be. is a boyfriend to her mom. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. That's tricky. Is is not her blesser, so? So team. Should I continue? Should she continue or should she stop? Okay, look, mama. Because that's the question. Because for me, it was like, so you mean, if it's going, you know, it's one, it's one thing if, like, I, I'd look at it from this perspective. If the guy is just giving her money, like, hey, sweet girl, me, nah, I'll take it as, as like, umalume, you know, mm. then yes. it's fine. Like, we are a blesser, but. But lo, we are loo. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are going to the extent of sleeping, ah, yeah, That's you can't wild, be sleeping man. with the same man with your mom. Ah, what guy? Nah, my no, thing girl. is Ukalile already. Ukalile already, ne? Like if she said, "Upe upe friend, come on, mom, young Sheila." But Ukalile. Yeah. Mm. And she's Kali. taking the money already. So my thing is, yeah, we're wrong, vele ngokhelu mama ako. But now Ukalile, so who are we to say don't? And what if the paths were meant to be like that? And also, how how old? Because also, maybe she's 30, the boyfriend could be 35, and the mom could be 40. No, can't be. No. 50. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, also, there's so or many like 45, things. and she's like 25. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I would just still like a date. I mean, I'm a cook we were married to men 20 years older than them, or 15. <laughs> It's really, she chose with Geluma Mark. So, so it's very difficult to advise. Who are we to stop her? It's very Is that what difficult. you're saying? No, I say, I, I stop it, girl. What I'm saying is, she, is she, she's of legal age. And as a fan, that thing of. Um, he goes where he also wants to be, where he's invited, where na ushela kona. So um shelile wa vuma. If we take my boyfriend and my mom yang shela, nienzi ni, that would all probably be in a consensus. Yeah, but decline. As adults, my family and who like it's wrong, but routine. It is so immoral. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Dude, I can't even think, I can't even uh, uh, imagine we're talking about this, bro. Like, jeez. What would How's you say, though? Think? Nah, but bro. But this is what happens in the streets out there. That's what happens in families. Yeah. I think it's it's foul on the guy. Why would he even put them in that position? Mm. Where yeah, but then uh, now you, you're a shit of a nigga. If yeah, you wanna, dog. If you're going to screw mom and then Ushele, the daughter, you're a, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Like, who the fuck does that? Simpiwe. Oh. <laughs> But the whole family is saying Simpiwe. Simpiwe with us and like to disappear. I'm not saying, you know. Send them, send them, send them there. 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 Right? But it's also foul. You're right. It's also foul of the nigga. Hence, I said, if it was before, we'll say it's foul. But the daughter, Uvmele Amanyala, of out mm. Now she's asking us when they've already exchanged things. Exactly. And, and what if money. she's actually underage, even? What if this is a girl who's probably Hence like 18? Hence I said, read all the facts. Yeah. Obviously, then it's clear that, okay, you're being manipulated, you're under 18. Mm. That's actually statutory rape. Mm. You know what I mean? But she's not saying it, so we're assuming she's an adult. Mm. If I'm not obvious, it's very clear. She should have actually gone to her mom and said... Like and just said, yo, your boyfriend is actually, you know. Oh, oh, what's her relationship with her mom? That could also okay. Hey man, it's tricky, eh? Yeah, but true. Steve. The the fact checkers saying what's the relationship, relationship with, with the, the mom? mom. Mm. Yeah, but but still though. No matter how my bad thing, it is, my thing hey? is, my thing is don't mm -hmm. like because now let's say she's got a child, and the child is twenty one day. In 30 years time Yo. or 15 years time or whatever, and now we get so mama, you know, like think about it. What kind of life are you gonna build with a nigga who found you as a daughter of his Eesh. girlfriend? What kind of life are you gonna build? All right, let's go. Let's go to another one. Hey, MacGyver. Hey, nah. So, Penduga and the ghost lady. Hey. Here's my question, and I am anonymous. 
You have a job opportunity to get paid 50% more mm. than what you're earning. And let's say you're getting paid one point, let's say five million. Yes. But you know that that 50% is going to cause misery in your life. You're going to hate your job mm. every oh. single day. You're going to hate it. So, what do you do? Take the money and suck it up or stay where you are. Don't take the money, mm. Don't take the money man. Don't take the money. Nothing amounts to above your sanity. Yeah. If you don't love the job, don't take the money. In fact, there was a thing I was working on, some campaign. Protect your peace. Yeah. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Protect some your campaign, peace. right? It's more valuable than money. More. Some campaign. I think you heard me when I left the voice note when we were in the Eastern Cape. Some campaign, right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So yes, I got man. monkey pox. I was supposed to be in Cape Town for the launch of this thing. And I was one of the big names and other celebrities I won't sure. mention. And then I got fucking monkey pox. I shot them the picture in Tumbile. Namarash. You know? And I'm like, yo, and planes are booked. Hotels are booked. Everything is nice. I'm like, guys, I'm sick. I send them a picture. And I was intending to go there. Yeah. One of my stresses was of being there. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, sharp. Ooh. But okay, but Tula, but Tula. But things are going on. I'm supposed to get updates on, on things to post and stuff, but Tula. And I let them a call. I was like, yo, guys, listen, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but if you guys, the reason for us not continuing to working together is because I'm, I was sick. I'm very happy not to work with you. Mm. Because, like, everything that I do needs to be in line with my mental health, mm. needs to be in line with what I love. And if you guys are going to prioritize your fucking company over my health then I'm very happy to break away with you mm. so any job that will cost you that yeah walk away from and yeah, some I, I think we're talking from a point of privilege that's privilege. what I was about to say yes. some will say I'm talking from a point of privilege because but she's saying already that she's already working yes yes so that's right? privilege it's as not well. the only yeah. thing mm -hmm. like with me if, if it, it wasn't the only thing if that was the only thing I'm doing then also, because that thing pertained to something I love, a, a sport that I really love. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It was in line with everything else, mm. but it was going to cost me as far as time. And also now, if the guys prioritize their thing over my health, mm. then I can't be part of that. But you're right. Mm. If it's your only job, then take it. Mm. But if you're in a position where you got a job already and, 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 it's going to cost you your well-being, your emotional, mental well-being. What I would do, I'll, t I'll take it and then I'll take that extra money I'm going to get to build something that I love. So I won't, I'm not dependent yeah, on that. Exactly. So take and build for something that you love and then when it's time to bounce you out. So it's about... it's. It it, it basically for me, like I understand what you're saying, that you can, if you can prep your mind, as much as you're saying that you're going, it's going to be miserable, but you know that, okay, you know what, I can handle the miserable and it's for a certain sacrifice. time. Sacrifice. Mm. Yes, it's a sacrifice. <sighs> it just depends on what is the need and why. Mm. So you could stay in the space. Mm. You, you can stay in where, where you are and be satisfied and if everything is going to go good. But it's also if it's going to help you achieve something, then go for it. And if it's still within some the, 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 the regions of what you can handle. If you've got the stamina for it. Thank you. Now, not speaking from a point of privilege. I once was called to an interview when I needed a job. I didn't go because I was like, yo, I'm going to be miserable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I borrowed a shirt from someone. Mm. I remember this fat nigga I borrowed a shirt from. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so, nigga thought I'm trying to I'm loyal or something. He wasn't really hesitant in giving me the shirt, you know? <laughs> I can bring I'm loyal, man, or anything. I just needed a job. I was really... But then I was like, I'll be miserable. Mm. Where was the And job? I was like, huh? Some corporate company, you know? Mm. I will be miserable. I see every, I will be miserable. Yeah. And I asked a friend to call a shot to get me an interview. And the friend was angry calling me. I will I'll be miserable. And I'm that person. I prefer my peace. And I know there'll be people like, ah, but you took the car job, but it's broadcasting. And 
It's I much love it every morning. You know, yeah. I'm happy to be there. I'm good. I'm, I love it. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm painting walls or something. You know? <laughs> but like, Ikaya, it's someone's home. <laughs> but like, I was, I was like, I could never do it. Yeah. And there's just two t- types of people. Those who, because I know, I was like, no, I'll be miserable and grand. Mm. But if you don't have a choice, take a job. But if you do, think about it very hard, long and hard. And you go, lady. I just said, mm. like, I, I would definitely, I'm all for protect your peace, mm. you know, but if you can handle taking on the other responsibility, then go for it. But it's just, but it must be within what you can handle. Like you prep yourself ahead. So it's, you, you don't, you can't be now getting consumed like you didn't know what's going to happen. So mm. if you know that it's going to be tough, but I'm going to need the money and this is going to be for maybe six months period for this year, I can make the sacrifice. Don't go. And going back to what you said, it also, if she's willing to sacrifice yeah. her happiness for maybe the sake of her kids or the business she wants to start, yeah. mm. then yeah. she can do it mm. as long as those things are catered for. Uh, Pradev just sent me Mamkheti's number. Should we call her, man? Oh, hey. yes. oh David, Pradev Mashabel. Yeah, yeah. Mamkheti from UCT. Professor. Chan- yeah, counselor. Oh, yes. counselor. Chancellor. They're called chancellors, no? Yeah, vice chancellor. Vice, it's vice uh, chancellor. You, you, Neo just said it. He was fighting Thank for you, fees. Neo. He knows. <laughs> he <was> vice <laughs> chancellor of UCT, Mamkheti. She's under attack. What happened? Yeah, I think they're coming for her, man. They want to remove her from her seat. Oh, they've been coming for her because she's so expressive and liberated and she you know I mean when she she was on the podcast she was in the studio mm. saying she's a chiller and you are the um, is it going through okay let me try with the whatsapp the attacks and cancellation applications yeah and it's a race thing apparently this thing now. Mm. it's become a race war now hey. what do you mean like uh, the, the, the white people there are the mm. ones uh, pushing this the white people? Yeah, we'll find out. Let's talk to him. No, 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 no. I'm going to go. Hey. Hands off, mom. It's part of this long day. I'm going to go. Oh, man, she's not answering. Let's leave a voicemail. Now, nah, send things her phone because she's been in the headlines. Her phone is popping. Like, it's mm. like you. You don't answer phones. Even when I call you from my other number, which you don't have. <laughs> you don't answer calls <laughs> and I'm like, hey, come on, Guti, I'm one of the journalists. <laughs> so just send her a text. Be like, yo, this is Mac. No journalists call me. Journalists never call me, bro. Yo, yeah, but when she hits the fan, you're always thinking it's some celebrity who, who thinks they know better and they mm-hmm. want to call you to advise you. Nah, not really. How come you didn't pick up the calls? Which call? I pick up all my calls. Mm. Nah, I don't pick up all my calls. <laughs> I do. Ah, fuck out of here. Some guys saying bullshit. The one who's wearing the same uniform as I am. He's saying bullshit. I pick up all my calls. Nah, bro. nigga. The guy who comes you, from yo. the same job as I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not the Pumagute shift. Doing that ain't getting nice shift. Let's send a voice note, man. Can I send a voice note um, like this? How should I do it? Just like this? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's send a voice note. He's had his iPhone for two days now. So. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> he's how still learning. <laughs> That's why I was how? dropping so that they can see if an iPhone is going to roast you as well. Oh. They roasted me <laughs> when I had an iPhone. It's like, oh, you're a sellout. You have an iPhone now. Yeah, but remember I told you, you can't have nice things, bro. <laughs> yeah, you need to hide your nice things. <laughs> Bump into someone in the suburb, they're like, ah, oh, you move out of Hillbrook now. I'm like, no, I'm still in Hillbrook. Fuck out of here. <laughs> when I move out, I won't tell you, but I'm still there. You got to stay in Hillbro. You got to stay using the Android. You That's why I'm in Hillbro. 39 Pretoria Street, you'll find me in Hillbro. I'm still there. Oh shit! I was recording. Let me undo that. Oh no, send it, Joe. Okay. I think that's dope. Send and, it, and then we we'll send the real one. And uh, uh, Professor Mamkheti, uh, this is podcast and chill. Sol is here. Ghost lady is here. Mm. What did we want to say, Sol? And then you can just say it on the mic. No, you can't. Hear me? Hey, no. iPhone no. is good. This iPhone. <laughs> hey, that in Pro Max. Get you. Uh, it projects the mic, uh, the camera. <laughs> hey, Mamu Kheti, how are you? This is Solomzi Tandubundu Penduga from Podcast and Chill. Um, I'll save your number. Um, but yeah, I just want to say we're here for you. We just wanted to talk to you. Like, what's up? What's going on? I see you going through some challenges. We just wanted to discuss those um, for you to give us the full background. And yeah, you know, just to give you a voice. Uh, yeah. 
I think you deserve at least that. I mean, you've showed us so much support, unwavering support, mm -hmm. even when the haters of Twitter came for you yeah. to say, how dare you support the chauvinistic podcast and whatnot. But you saw the vision of uh, what we're building here, what we're doing for ordinary everyday people who subscribe. I mean, I think we, we, we are almost 800k followers. Not by chance, but because there's real love and support. And we always want to reciprocate that. Uh, so our way was to just talk to you about what's going on. And you give us, you know, we, we, we get the facts from the horse's mouth. Hopefully, we can talk to you on the next episode. Cheers. Hey! hey. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, great. Beautiful. Oh, oh man. Great. He's so good with words, man. Yeah. It's amazing. Pearl. Oh, you, man. Yeah, it's thank amazing. You. Thank you. All right, cool, man. Anything else you want to talk about, Ghost Lady? Remember we had a debate about uh, Katlejo, my boy? That he wasn't, my boy? Yes, my boy. About uh, hosting the tropical island of treasure mm -hmm. yeah. he is going to be the host. Oh, shout out. So, oh, remember how it great. was? No fake news, you know? Mm. So, oh, amazing. Can't wait. Fuck. So he's going back to the place that got him fired. Yeah, tropical of Ireland and other women's pussy. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I just had to. <laughs> we love him, though. <laughs> 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 I love him. Listen, cheating has never been a crime, bro. <laughs> cheating has never... It's not nice. It's not but a crime. It's never been a crime. Are they going to give him bounces this it time? Families. <laughs> I'm going to vibe. Wrong room vibe. No, I want to taste the other flavor. <laughs> nah, man. Um, I think... Cheating has never been a crime, though. Like, it's not a crime. You add some morals, whatever, but it, it's immoral to who when polygamy is legal in South Africa. Also, right? If you're going to use the law as the yardstick of morality, like, to who? You know what I mean? Because just like what, like, Sindicio Mangaila, people are like, ah, she's a man. Like, oh, well, the law says she's out on parole. And, and, and who are we? If the law says this and the laws of South Africa allow polygamy, and maybe that's what he was a looking for. A lot of people for, struggled with for. that episode, yeah. Come again? No, I'm saying a lot of people struggled with that episode just because of that. For real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. People were like, yeah, what's going on? Oh, oh this is we're giving a murderer a platform. I don't yeah. know how yeah, to yeah, feel yeah. about this, you know. <laughs> and encourage you to make money from the thing and stuff oh, yeah. like that, you know. That's they said, oh, wild, And man. I get where it's coming from, but at the same time, we've got laws under this country. And she's legally free and legally free to do what she needs to do. And based on that, we wouldn't have interviews like a Jube Jube. Mm, he's mm. not. He's still serving a sentence on parole. Mm. You know what I mean? So who are we to judge? And so like, yeah, man, I think shout out to him and the new gig. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So yeah, because what was his crime? He didn't commit a crime. Mm. Even worse, he, didn't even, he was not behind bars. He cheated. And we don't know why. We don't know what happened in the relationship. So... Yeah, man, shout out to him. If he's back there, sure. Yeah, he chop, he chop, guys. He chop, he chop. He's chop, already because back on his express, so, so what? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. exactly. He didn't fuck up. He didn't do a bad show there. He's always been great at that. Yeah, so... And the Tropic and I had great show, uh, uh, great rates, clearly, when they had him on. Mm. You know what I mean? And if they want him back on, it means that he had good rates and, uh, and the viewership was great. It's like, for example, if someone cat cheats on their partner with someone in the crew and then can't they come back? Mm, 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 100%. Yeah. Like, right. really, can't they come back? Mm, you know, mm. especially if we're okay with it. If the guys at Tropical are okay with it, who's the public to fucking say, don't go back to that job because that's where you cheated? Mm. Oh, man. Anyway. Anything and he won the about? case. Whatever case. Wonder what was the case. He won it in court. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, uh, it's funny. Wrongful dismissal, I think. No, no the, the lady lost a case oh, shit. against yeah. him, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. She had press charges he won. Even in, worse? In he won court. The case. Yeah. So, let's run in Tropical Island of. Yeah. Let's rock it. Rock it, dog. Yo, yeah. Rock it, my nigga. Anything else you want to talk about, my dog? Shout out to Max Mkati. Yeah. Uh, of Max Lifestyle in Durban. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking legacy, black excellence. Family goals. So nice. he seems like he's stepping down from the operational runnings of 
uh, uh, Max Lifestyle mm. and his daughter is and taking over. Is oh, wow. Literally, oh, beautiful. the daughter, the daughter oh, tweet is Zanelle. What's her name? It's a Zinkle. Zinkle. Ah, yes, Zinkle. She's taking over Max, and we know what happened. He got shot at mm. a few months ago. Eish. But yeah, she's running the multi million globally recognized brand of Max Lifestyle. Yeah. I thought that's beautiful. You know, you have a daughter. Mm. And you imagine one over. day saying, hey, I'm tired of running this business. Or, mm. You know, passing it down to your daughter. That's black excellence. And we're talking about generational wealth. Uh, the generational other wealth. Yeah, that's bro. how we do it, man. That's how we do it. Shout out to Max Mkati. Shout out to Zinke Mkati. Mm. Rockstar. But what uh, do you think of this? Yeah. That um, Drip and Batu is now owned by Jews. Like, I stumbled upon such... Yeah. Yay. Yay. Now it's on. Like it's been handed ah, over. Yes, drip, yes, ah, ah, no. yes, drip, yes, patula. Wait, <laughs> drip and patula owned by who? Jews. Who's Jews? Like, oh, uh, you know, the Jews. How? Mm. Jews. Who's the, Jews? The guys with money. The, yeah, the Jewish. <laughs> oh, the yes. Jews. No, the Jews. Like, what the Jews? Jews. I heard. No, did you Jews or Jews? Jews. You're Jews? Yeah. Oh, the sorry, Jews. my bad. The Jews. Yeah. So, cause now apparently, actually, they're gonna start manufacturing their, you know, the, the shoes here in South Africa even. So, how could they afford all of that? Mm, mm. It's, it's so obvious. Expensive. And both, yeah. Wait. Batu and drip. Batu and drip yep. are owned by the Jews. Mm, mm, mm. That's what's circulating right now. Wait. Wait. As of when? As of the, when? Yeah. It's Colicao. It's Colicao. You guys have a contract with Lecao. You've got his numbers. You have his numbers. Yeah. I've yeah. never spoken to Lecao a single day in my life. Yeah. Let's call him. Let's call him, man. <coughs> that's wild, eh? The Jews, that's crazy, mm, bro. Because mm. aren't they going to make the sneakers here now? Mm. Yeah, they might. But then I thought it was expensive to make the stuff here. Yeah, but that's, 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 that's why. It's like, who can afford to do that? I thought, but Lecao, damn man, no. Lecao is Drip. This is what's happening. He's I Lecao found is out. the soul of Drip. The soul. Manje bonke abat banya tele ngai. Manje simply. You remember that necessary rhyme? It's a bosho. It's a bosho. Don't put anything of that shit in there, bro. Hey. Brother, brother. Hey, King. How are you, King? Uh, I'm blessed, brother. How are you? Super, man. You're live on the podcast. Sol is here. Ghost Lady's here, man. Bro, it's the first time hearing your voice, man. Never heard your voice Hi, before. Mr. Oh, I don't know. We've called him on the show before. Have oh, we? we've called Lekau. Yeah, we've called when we were congratulating him about some deal, I remember. Oh, he hey, Lekau, Fede. <laughs> Ah, uh, easy, easy, my brother. How's it? It's AJ Matata. Oh, good, bro. Listen, dog. The reason why we're calling, man, what's this rumors that we're hearing that the Jews have now bought uh, a drip? Or that there's a major stake that was bought. Mm. Major stake bought by who? A controlling stake. We don't know. By Jews, apparently. Yeah, or some conglomerate or, cons or consortium. Kanye West, Kanye West won't be happy about that, man. Mm. <laughs> 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 but what, what's going on? Is it true, though? I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I'm actually sure. Uh, like, I just have to go to work tomorrow and find out if I still have a job before the <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but Lekau, but Lekau, bro, you you said a few months ago that you've stepped down from con running Drip. You're focusing on other businesses. Like I know you've got a the group. A, a kitty store, the group now. You've yeah. ascended to the group ranks, and you're controlling things at a larger scale. And Drip. So to yeah. when we heard that, it made sense. Like oh, that's why Lekau is now doing the kitty store, the jeans, and everything else, and, and even the perfumes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw a big on the M1. There's a Everybody has seen it, a, a billboard yeah. of Zinke and Bongs there. So we thought maybe it makes sense with you focusing on other aspects of the of the group. Mm. Yeah, yeah, man, absolutely. Like, actually, like, this is the first time I actually hear about, you know, some conglomerate actually buying drip or something like that, man. But um, what I did, you know, with the brand was just to, you know, diversify in terms of the offering, like domain jeans. Kitty's Republic as well. And then I, 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 drip, I only just focus um, on the element of creativity more than anything. Mm. So, yeah, man, um, we're not selling. We're just um, signing distribution deals with the majors like we have Woolworth and then going to be announcing oh, the other sure. one. Um, next year. Well done, so, bro. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Well done. Because you, you know the thing yeah. is, 
and yeah, also yeah, sorry, Ken, go ahead. yeah people are like nah he's sold because there's no ways he's getting into all these malls even malls that are about to open you've got a store there and the only way to do that is to be in bed with white people mm. and stuff like not anybody gets these the, these prime mall spaces what's your answer to that yeah Ah, uh, look, man. You know, I think um, days whereby people look down on pe- black people's capabilities mm. and thinking um, mm. are, are now over, man. You know, mm. like I'm, I've been doing this thing for three years, and I'm not just taking the money and going to um, party, and I'm actually investing back into the business in terms of financially and understanding what's next and where do we um, go next in terms of the business. You know, Mind. so that is what I do. I, I try by all means to just work with everyone in the industry, big, big um, white conglomerates who own the mall, and I actually have built relationships with them because I still want to sell my products in them. And also, um, we actually bring a lot of um, 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 business to the malls by trip existing food in those traffic. malls as yeah. well. Yeah, uh, yeah, food traffic. So they love us, they like us. We actually say no to a lot of malls, and sometimes you can say, okay, if you want drip there, build the mall yourself. There's something called the TI in retail, whereby you don't spend your money to build the shops. The malls themselves build it because they see value in the brand being at the Whoa. mall. So that is what I do and then learn and understand in the space that I actually trade in. And it allows me to actually save on um, the cash flow as well. So I think sell the business. Um, we just I'm um, going through distribution and my distribution network right now allows me to actually be in Africa like I was in Tanzania the other month. So we're actually going global right now. But with distribution and yeah, more than anything, it's just that um, we didn't sell anything. And and what's this uh, about you and uh, um, what's the other shoe? Batu, uh, you guys apparently are. They're going to get manufactured here. Yeah, you're Africa. starting a warehouse or something like that. I I also don't know anything about that, but I'm always in meetings. You know, like I'm, I'm with companies that will say. We want to help you guys actually manufacture it back mm. here at home, like us. Yeah. Not, I don't know anything about them. But I, I always try and get into, you know, the, the making the business too easier to run, you know, because we always know that you don't control that side of the business in terms of manufacturing. So, yeah, I, I, I my, personally, I always do that, but I don't know about my brother, Theo. Yeah, and I've been to his way well, so yo, it's beautiful, ooh, man. Ooh, ooh, uh, 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 Lukao, uh, hey, he's Lukao. running an amazing operation ooh, there. Oh, palawa, Have we been to the party one? <laughs> 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 hey, Lukao, hey, all, Lukao, the best, Lukao man, man. all the best, man. Shout out to you, man. Uh, thank you so much, brother. So then congratulations on, on your successes as well, man. I'm, I'm truly inspired. Um, and yeah, it's all, it's all season, man. It's all season. It's all hey, my man, we must talk, man. I haven't spoken to you, Preston. It's crazy, man. <laughs> but I love your uh, work you're you doing, so man. Love you, you bro. Brother. <laughs> sure. uh, thank you. Love you too, brother. Yeah. Sure, love oh, you, man, wait, so wait, much. Wait, wait. Hey, cool, man. Here's the thing, man. Mm. I, I f- strongly feel like if, um, let's say it, it was true, that drip or batu sold to white conglomerates. Nothing wrong with that. As long as the fee was enough. It's diversified. L- number one. Exactly. Number one. The stats, guys, of... Nyeboni black ownership is beautiful, mm-hmm. right? Number one, the stats of business. A lot of businesses don't make it to the 10-year uh, 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 thingy. Yeah. yeah. Um, m- miles, uh, milestone, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Number two. Remember Reebok used to be hot. Mm. Mm. Felt off the radar. Mm. Fubu. And remember Fubu. Mm. I even bought a Fubu t-shirt. I will wear it one day. Mm. Last week. <laughs> fell off the radar. Mm. Fila yeah. fell off the fucking radar. Mm. And one. We're giving Nike a run for their money. And Nike oh. remodeled the whole marketing and thingy to do what N1 does. And yeah. now Nike was more streetwise lifestyle. Yeah. Right? Fell off the radar. I'll call brands. Many have come and gone, had mm. their season and they left. Mm. So how does Nikau know that his brand is going to be around 20 years to come? Yeah. Mm. When Fila, Fubu, N1 had bigger budgets, Reebok, mm. way bigger budgets in dollars came and gone. Mm-hmm. How does he know? Mm-hmm. So what's the point as a black business person saying, I'm going to hold on to 100% of my ownership yeah. of my own uh, uh, um, uh, thingy, uh, intellectual property when I don't know if it's going to last me 10 years for my mm. great-grandkids mm. or will I hold on to it till it... F- and then the very same black people were like, ah, hold on, don't sell, don't sell. They're like, ah, we don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm. Then there's that. Then there's yeah, that. Then there's, that. Then there's, yeah, there's yeah. fucking that. Yeah. You know what I mean? In that order. <laughs> In that fucking order. So sell your shit. Yeah. 
If Felix gonna come and say 200 mil, we'll buy your thing. If Jews are gonna come to Lukao and say 350 mil even, who knows? We don't know how much he's making a year. We don't know. Yeah. What if he's making two mil? And then come three mil. And he's like, fuck, I'm gonna make that in the next six years. I told you you gotta go to work with this nigga, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but you're right. So. Left you're right. Right. Yeah. Imagine no, we're fighting myself. Russia. Imagine us us fighting Russia. So would would sell the country. <laughs> Yo, no, I would fucking eat the Russians. <laughs> I'd fry the, I'd deep fry the fucking Russian <laughs> and put it in my mouth. <laughs> Drop that fucking thing of yours. Come on and war with me. Hey man, we, we got lots so... to celebrate. Shout out. Yeah, hey, 12th November is confirmed. I'm doing my birthday at Propaganda. Oh, oh yes, nice. yes. Great yes. choice of venue. We're yeah. going I'm gonna to rock. I can't wait. 12th November. Yeah. Hey, yeah. when's your birthday? Uh, 7th November. Oh, nice. It feels like it was yesterday. Yeah. Hey. When you were having your other birthday party. <laughs> I actually just realized, oh my god, shit, it's November next month. It's been a short year, eh? Yeah. That's how you know it's been a good year. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's been a fucking amazing year, man. Fucking amazing. Uh, 12th of November, propaganda. Tickets are available on Howler. And it's going to be crazy, man. Stay glued to our social media platforms for lineups and stuff. But um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I was shooting uh, the video from Kantin with Sir Trill yesterday. What a great guy, man. That guy, you know, like there's people oh, that are built for, 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 for oh. stardom. Like, what was celebrity? Like, to be a superstar? That's so true, man. Uh, what do you mean? I, 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 I'm asking you, I'll tell you why I'm, I'm asking you. What? What are you asking? Because he's not a celebrity. Like, he's one person who's not like a celebrity guy. Superstar. Like, when you're around him, you can see this guy's a superstar and he was built for it and he was meant for it. Like, he's not trying hard. But he doesn't like it. And Central is such a chill. But that's what I mean. Like, you see he was built for it. But to me, he's such a chilled, chillest of the chillest niggas. But that's how you know he was built for it. He doesn't even have to try hard. I'm like, I am. Oh, I... <laughs> Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. You see what I mean? <laughs> okay. Oh, I had to no, practice I for years. Yeah. Because <laughs> my belief is all is that like niggas were built for 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 being celebrities, and no, no, no. Like, and okay. Let me not use celebrity superstar. He's yeah, they're a, not he's phased. An artist, they're yes. not phased by the fame. Yeah, yeah. By every, and they still stick to. That's why, like, so chill. You'll hear that some there's a video shoot you didn't show up or whatever. Because <laughs> sometimes she's like, "Hey, bro." <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> no, legit, we spoke true, about true, this, true, even true, on gigs. True, true, true. And I said, and remember what I said? I yeah. said, there's no problem with that because mm. you're human mm. and you're appreciating your hu humanness. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Just pay back the refund, be like, you guys, I'm tired. Yeah. Like me, I don't work on Mondays. I, yeah. I don't do shit on Mondays. Mm. I don't want to do shit on Mondays because I'm like, yo, I'm, I know I'm, I need time to myself. Mm. And he's one of those guys who, prioritizes himself before anything else and it should be like that mm. unless you got kids and stuff yeah of course we're gonna so he he's like that guy so Trill is like that down to earth guy yeah and then also wait uh, how come one at the video yeah I actually asked I must ask your manager he's the one who planned everything dog it's your video it's your video yeah but I was tired dog oh. <laughs> You don't plan anything on Mondays, dog. <laughs> I didn't want stress of, of planning videos and whatever. So I just let Sfiso handle everything. And he ah. told me when to come. I did my scene. And I fucked off. And Jason? Jason. He was getting asked for the first time. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> Jason, we were tired as well. As well. He couldn't even make it as well. Isn't hey, bro, I was tired. Video? Bro, I'm disappointed. That can't in canteen. I didn't even do Sorry. the treatment. What's treatment? Like uh, the concept for the video. That was Fiso's idea. I just literally What's went the concept? Yeah, uh, quickly. It's like some fighting scene. I did the clubbing scene. Is it weed? No. In Cantini. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, is that why you never called hey, us? Hey, hey, guys. Hey. There's you no did, weed. <laughs> there's no weed. There was no... Yeah. There's guys, no... Wait, animals. wait. There was wait, 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 guys. Manager, did you shoot the video? No, 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 no. Monday. Monday did. Monday Dube. Oh, was a low Monday budget. Dube. I've heard of that name. Yeah. <laughs> they, oh, they, just saying it was a low budget. <laughs> That's the problem. Guys, I was not involved, literally. I was Wait, not involved but in the conception. Wait, but isn't Cantini weed? 
Joint, a joint. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. How come there's no weed in the room? I don't know. I was not involved. But you're I'm supposed to. Oh, oh videos I put my name on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Drop another one. Yeah, drop another one. <laughs> the double D's. <laughs> Songs and videos I put my fucking name on. What is this? No, bro. it's videos I put my face on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, man, I can't be stressing about fucking videos, man. Ah. So I let Spiso handle everything. And I'm like, all right, cool. Let me know when to show up. I'll do my scene. And that's why I, that's, that's the way I like it. So you are there probably acting you know like you are with your friends and you these people you don't even know. Fucking videos, man. <laughs> even the EP, the reason why I'm not using my own publishing or like uh, my own distribution, because I don't want the stress of the admin. So that's why I got Electro Mode to handle everything. I just push, drop, done. Gig. Gig. That's it. Hmm. Like, I don't like admin, bro. Yeah, but there's things principally you must agree on, like in canteen. How? Bro, I don't even know what in canteen meant until yesterday. So Jill told me to leave. <laughs> so you, you've never smoked a joint ever since you oh, dropped in canteen? Uh-uh. Oh, you, you don't I'm pretty smoke sure Philo weed. has dropped, has smoked the bag <laughs> at some point. <laughs> so you don't even agree with the bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fellow. Hey. It's a Mick G. You don't even have a Hey, hey man. But I like how you've been honest. It's things you've put your name on. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm disappointed. I really wanted to be in the video, man. I really wanted yeah. to be, you know. It's camaraderie. You're my boy. Bro. And I'm so proud of you. You know why? Because of how you discovered the song. So if you guys don't know, now, Mac was in the studio and they played him like some songs that they mm, thought were hits. Like 20. Yeah, just imagine, right? Mm. And then when they played him that song and they thought it was just like central... Everybody involved in the production thought it's just a throwaway song. You were like, this is a hit. Mm. So there's some level of contribution, mm. you know, to that when you were like, no, this is a hit because they were never going to drop it. Mm. Probably was going to be in the studio the whole time and you were like, identified it and like, this joint, well, <coughs> there's no weed in it. So maybe, <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's not a joint. And, and you well, like, it's a hit. The, the reason for this project is not really about me. It's just to put people on. And that's it. That's it, man. You know what I mean? I didn't even want to be in the video, but I had to. Oh, flip for real. Wanna, okay. Yeah, I wanted to do like, you know, Skrillex vibes where it's your song. There's a video, but you're not even in it. Nah, be in it. Because when you're in it, you're a f- popular face. It's going to play a lot. Yeah, it's going to push the that, other guys. Yeah. They're, they're for pushing. As long as the other guys involved in the song are in it. Yeah, are yeah, in yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So uh, when I did the clubbing scene, Bailey was there. Bailey. MJ, the guy who did the beat. MJ is the, is the producer, yes. Yes, they were there. Bailey's the other guy who sings. Yeah. In the style of Central. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, That's cool, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So that works. Because if it was just Bailey, okay, Central would still hold the video to play it. But you're there, so it's going to play more. Yeah. So the EP drops tomorrow, but I'm, we're going to do a live mix. Uh, so straight after the show at 5.30 ne? or 6 p.m. We're going to go live. I'm doing a live Wait, mix I for the first come. time. Wait. Uh, so it's gonna drop mix? today. Yeah, so after the show, we're going live, like live, live, like yeah. For the first time ever, I'm gonna mix live. I wanna come. At what time? Where? Where? Uh, Sentin. Sentin. Are there gonna be people? Yeah. yeah. Today, Thursday. Yeah. Today, today Thursday. Thursday. After right? the show. Yeah. yeah. After the Wait. show. Eh? At Ferguson. Where in Sentin? Thirty-five Ferguson. Sentin right? is big. Ilovo. Oh. Oh, Ilovo is. It's not far from me, bro. Come. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Ferguson. 35. 35 Ferguson. Yes, that's where we were in the mix. 35 Ferguson. Oh, and, 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 and you're a menu fan. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, yeah. I'll be at 35 Ferguson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so. I'll be mixing live. Ah, oh, dope, Alex. Yeah. I'll yeah. be there, man. <laughs> I'm gonna drop. Drive. I'm gonna drop uh, tunes from the EP. I got a song with Mesh. Yeah, we got oh, a tune in the EP oh, with Mesh. Yeah, yeah, if you hear, if you hear Mac mixing and you hear a voice out of place, <laughs> like Dolly with you, Dolly with you, that's Mesh high and fucking weed and edibles. <laughs> yeah. So you, actually, you said you were busy saying that you're gonna drop the other song. Yeah. So you're gonna drop which song? All Remember? of them. There's six songs. So okay. there's Tico. It's a song I did with the twins, ne? That's another song that I picked out the same day I heard in Kadin. Uh, who's twins? Uh, that's Fiso. Hey, he's got twins. Yeah, on his label. 
Hey. Yeah, let me get their names. It's a revolution happening there. That's <laughs> piece of label. That's twins even. It's kind of amazing. your manager. How do you not know this? How do I'm you not involved. That's his business. I'm not involved. I'm not involved in what it does in his music label or any other business venture of his. Yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna be mad at me because they were at the video last night. The twins, I forgot their names. Oh, the twins from Timbisa. They're annoying guys. No, ladies. Oh, the ladies. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. That was annoying twins. Oh, you would be dealing with some twins. Yo. Let me get but I love the niggas. Actually. It's nice, but it's just annoying. But they're really lovely people. But they'll just call you at 1 a.m. in the morning, like, oh. They want to uh, somewhere. Yes, the one lady is C. Uh. Seatle. Uh, Seatle. Seatle. Oh, twins yeah, females. Yeah, you'll see them, you'll see them on the EP. But oh, shout don't. out to the twins, Seatle and... Yeah, amazing. And amazing the vocalist. Woo! No, fire. Swiss can choose. Like, there's yes. a vocalist he picked, Kosi, that I'm working with. And then Dali, Stressa, shout out to Stressa. He did the beat. Mesh is on it. Ura, Ura, is the name Ura D? Yeah, Ura D. Ura D. Ura D. Yeah. Ura D. Your, man, your name, your singing name is Ura D. No, 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 no. There's a lady uh, who does the vocals on oh, Dali. Ora D. Oh, yeah. Her name is Ora D. And Mesh is who? His Mesh singing is Mesh. Name. Oh, you're Mesh. Yeah. Oh, you Mesh. go by Mesh. 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 Oh, the unknown Mesh. Oh, yeah, oh, the unknown Mesh is the full name. The That's the Dali track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the name is just Mesh. Yeah. yeah. Road kill oh, Mesh. Nah. So it's, it's Mac G featuring? It's Mac G featuring Stressor, Mesh, Ora D. Dali Wade. Mdali, just Mdali. Oh, Mdali. Yeah. Mdali, wait to you. Mdali, wait to you. Mdali, wait to you. And then there's a song I did with Karabo. Uh, it's called Ama Yaga Yaga. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. the song that made me realize, okay, fuck it, let's do an EP. Nice. Because the first song I heard, uh, and I was like, shit, this is dope. I want to put my name on it. That's Ama Yaga Yaga. And then beautiful. there's MDF, which is Motherfucker. You, you know the one with Reason, Lady Do. Oh, uh, you so Robert you guys call it motherfucker for the street distribution, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. But M- MDF, 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 but it's motherfucker, motherfucker, guys. Yeah. That song Speedy for me is bigger than um, Gantin, Gantin, yeah, yeah. Speedy Smart, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Speedy Smart, the fuck, yeah, and yeah, that's can I be in that video now? <laughs> Me too, please. Okay, I'll I'll do this one. I'll organize this Thank one. Thank you. Speed you know everything smart. that I organize, the yeah. team is always there, bro. You yeah. know. Yeah. You know, if I organize it, Maligan was gonna be there. A speed Everybody, bro. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. And then Kantine, yeah. obviously. And then my favorite song on the EP is Nyasfela. Oh, yeah. I love yeah. that one. Yeah. Which That's one is that favorite. one? With TBO. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got TBO, Sinom Solo, Sinon. Reason. Robert Boy. Yeah. Let me tell you this. Mac Lopez produced it. Mac Lopez produced the beat. Okay. So the craziest thing is, Robert Boy was not actually meant to come to the to the studio session we had, um, but he ended up having the best verse on Yasfela. Robert Boy's I was there when he was there. Yeah. That's when we were supposed to interview our, our, um Mansa Main. Yeah. And he ended up being expected yeah. in the studio like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was supposed to get interviewed. I'm so we're meant to record. interview Mansa Main and then we couldn't. It's the same day we were interviewing um who's the American guy? Dame Dash. Dame That's Dash. why I was so oh. drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we interviewed Dame Dash, I was from the fucking studio and it was lit. And we'd done another show previously. Who did mm. we interview? John Stanley. John Stanley. Yeah. Yeah. And then we went to the studio. I didn't think we we're gonna have Dame Dash. Yeah. I was just gonna go home and then yeah. So we told Mansa we went to the studio, it's like, ah oh, cool, I'll come through then. We drove there, and then he's like, can Robert Boy come through? We're like, yeah, Robert Boy's family. And then he invited Robert Boy. And then Robert Boy laced two songs, Motherfucker and Yasfela. But on Yasfela, he killed it, man. Mm. Yo, 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 yo. For real. Yeah. I haven't heard Yasfela. You haven't heard, I haven't heard that, that's I, I, his song. I've heard his verse on, on, on Motherfucker. Yeah. I haven't heard but him on Yasfela. But that song, uh, shout out to Reason, man. Caesar Alakine. He made that song possible because when you got there in the session, right, we're listening to beats and everybody was going hard. Like they wanted, they were, they were playing like club. Yes, fair. No, 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 like club bangers, like Nkantin, motherfucker. Yeah, so they were drunk. playing like hard beats. No chords, yes. And then Mac Lopez dropped the beat, yeah, yes, fair. And then Reason's like, that's the one we're doing first. 
So he kind of like orchestrated and put the whole song together. Mm. Wow. And then Sino wrote the, 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 the chorus. Ish. And then TBO heard the chorus. He's like, fuck. Wow. And then yeah, he TBO went in. Well. Yeah. And then t- after wow. TBO, Robert wow. Boyer went in. And then Reason went in. Wow. And then, yeah, that's how it came about. But that was like, that's my favorite song in the EP. Hey, man, you need to play me the. I've never heard the full song. Yeah. But. Well, Motherfuck- listen tonight. You're coming to Santon. I get it. Listen tonight when I mix live. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming tonight, bro. Oh, fucking So it's going to be live on YouTube, right? Yeah, live on our, on, Wait. Our, on, our, on our channel. So now it's how many songs on the EP? Six. I'm coming. So it's set to six songs. No. No, no, no I'm going to play other songs that should have made it but didn't. Oh, yeah, dope. yeah, yeah. Please yeah. play that song that you love Which that Mick Lopez did. Oh, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But King Mara, he, he did with the first man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play that as well. That's a nice song. Yeah, yeah. Michael Page is talented. Finally, people will know that me and Saul can mix because people think we just podcasters. So we've oh, been mixing, bro. From like let me tell you a story, dog. No, let me tell you a story. <laughs> so when 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 you see that gig where they cut my electricity three times, yeah. then, it was a gig organized by DJs, right? So now this one nigga comes to me. He's like, "Yo, man." And he was the first nigga to take out his phone and like, yo. And then he's like, I thought you can't mix me. It's great. You're amazing. But all that, I'm going to have to take pictures with me now. I'm like, how? Yeah. Then they tell me, I thought, oh, that's why they did the thought I can't mix. Oh, fuck. And it happens so much because people think was, even the production, with, in my case, yeah. people think I can't, like, I'm not, I couldn't produce music. And yeah, yeah. Like, you can make music. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So people think we just, Talk Podcasts, shit yeah. and just podcast. Mm. You know they don't think we DJ and make music and all. But those you things. can't blame them, dog. We're out of the game for like ten years. Man. Mm. True, and <laughs> and now you're just putting. In all honesty, on <laughs> podcasting over production and over DJing is what has put us yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. back yes. at the helm. Yes. You know, yes. like. We're huge in the game. Yeah. I got you, you know, but yeah, yeah. we're huge and it's all thanks to podcasting, so I get it. So straight after this, it. make sure you check out the EP. We're dropping it live at 5.30 p.m. We'll be live on this very channel right here. And then straight after that, I'm going home and I can't wait to check out the new episode of Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. Oh, also, I'm also dropping. going home to change. No, but that's change either. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rings of Power, where are you now? I'm still on episode six now. Yeah. You? Yeah. After yeah. the war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah, yeah. the oh, war. Because I've been oh. so busy, man. But yeah, like Tell every chance more. I get. Yeah, every chance I get. I'm, I'm, I'm on it. Where are you at, Ghost Lady? After the war. I'm at the war. Like, who, just, who, who, the war's between who? Everybody's fighting. I will. Ah, Even the Huffuts, the Huffuts are so gentle. They hide in trees. You don't see them. They don't even build weapons. Who's fighting? Where are you at, Kanti? I told you, were, you. You were further than me the other time. No. I caught up with you and beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, last week I told you I was at the place where the guy who landed from the moon and the stars. I think I know why. The moon landing? and the star. A man. Fell from the <laughs> celestial bodies to F. And then he was helping the Hoffords move. When the Hoffords realized there's a war coming. So yeah. you haven't moved from there? Or you still have to catch up? Okay. okay. No, no, no. You guys are ahead. Yes. In yeah, it was over it. Pambi. It, that's what I'm saying. There's a war. Was all born. Between who? Uh, that's a spoiler alert. That's a spoiler. Ah. Everybody. So a spoiler alert. Yeah. So there's a war. Woo. Such a matula. <laughs> That's Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. Make sure you check it out on Prime Video, man. We are here. This has been Podcast and Chill. It's the first time we go live ever ne? on the network. Ne? It's the first Apart time. from After Chillers with Jaws. Uh, he's always live every yeah, 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 After Chillers with Jaws. Is, it's incredible what he does, man. I wish... Chillers could just be there and mm. all of them watch him when he goes live. That, that's the thing, bro. Chillers will come to you and be like, yo, man, why don't you start a show for upcoming artists? We're like, okay, cool. And then we start the hangout. Hangouts. And then no one watches. Uh, and then, uh, hey. <laughs> and I, I don't... In fact, they were saying there was a lot of questions. Even you know the Q and A, we asked like guys to just send questions, and it was a whole lot of guys about music, you know, and oh, give us a platform. And it's like, how oh, guys, hangouts. It's and they always and they always get emails. And, 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 and Facebook inboxes from upcoming artists that, yo, can we please burn the podcast, right? Podcast and chill. Then I'm like, the problem is if we have you as an upcoming artist, no one knows you, then the chillers are going to be like, who's this guy you have? And we don't mm, know him. Mm, so we can't interview him on the main show, but we do have other shows. 
But now when we do those shows, Nobody the numbers, watches. no one is coming no to us. No one is watching. And therefore, that's why So there's no you. demand for upcoming artists, yeah. Grand Graham. That's what it's the like numbers those are saying. That's what it's the like numbers. those girlfriends who stick by the nigga who's dropping whack songs. And the chillers can't do that. They want someone to be big like Toss, out of the woodwork, out of nowhere, and then support them. And that's not, not chillers, just the industry, the game. Yes, yes. I think there's just no interest if you look at the numbers. And we tried to mm. put upcoming artists on, yeah. really. And it costs money, yes. dog. Like, Maligant, Time, uh, you know what I mean? Recording and then there's all of the guys. Editing. Yeah. And, yeah. Yes. And then there's people who will come. Like, there's a guy who came through a Kai FM, right? And he proposed a whole show for the network. I'm like, no problem. Hit Mac G up. But bear in mind, there's a whole cost to this thing, mm. right? And it's a cost versus income. Mm. Is mm. the show going to make income? Are there going to be advertisers, X mm. and Y? Are there going to be numbers even on YouTube for YouTube to actually say, we're going to throw in advertisements on this? And sometimes people don't get that. But we're excited about Piano Unleashed dropping that oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. who's the first Ooh. guest? Toss. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, so, so I'm curious, like, how did you get the band? Is it the same band throughout the Unleashed? Hey. Unleashed? Yeah, you know, it's funny. It's my producer's band. <laughs> Oh, it's my police's band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a band. Oh, so put the in guys, place with a band. Yeah, the guys that uh, did like, that do like his live stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his band. For real? Mm. So they do four. So you've got the same, you've got a resident band. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, yeah. bro. Yeah. So we've got Toss first, we've got More Keys next, and then we're going to shoot More the Keys is amazing. It's beautiful musically. Yeah, then we're going to shoot the other episodes in these uh, coming weeks. Cool. When I've dropped my EP, can I come? Of course, of course. Because my, my, my music is very live. It can be tra- yes. translated live so beautifully. Yeah. The saxophones and yeah. chords and stuff. You know? Yeah, man. You don't even need to ask, dog. How are we, how are we doing with that? How, when do you think you're dropping? We're doing very well. It's just that every day there's a nice song. So it's like, <laughs> fuck. Is this an EP or an album, you know? <laughs> oh. But when are you dropping yours now? Yeah. Because I always like, I've avoided, I don't want to, you know. But also, I want to drop a very a very amazing song but not club club you know what I mean mm. so you can go club go very amazing musically mm. but a hit also mm. and then I've got a club or two you mm. know what I mean <laughs> and I drop it later when you're dropping them Dali and shit you know like <laughs> Dali went to Dude, then, I, then I go Kanti. you know what I mean so yeah uh, but we're looking at uh, uh, um, November definitely no single October now November the EP hmm. but it might be like an 8 track because there's so many amazing songs I've got amazing talents from Force Law yeah. oh, ah, oh, ah. nice yeah. oh, ah, oh, ah. December's gonna be great hey, not hey. December so I'm not chasing December I just love beautiful music <laughs> I'm not chasing December I'm not chasing I'm not chasing December I'm not chasing me. I just love beautiful music if you go back to my album I dropped 2012 you realize I'm just a beautiful music person yeah man and I love music so yeah um October's first single, November. Yeah, I'm um, the EP with a lot of songs in it. All right, clean man. Do you have a name yet for the EP? <laughs> EP. Hey. Tando boo. Tando boo. Tando boo. Oh, hey, I like Neo. that. Neo just said Tando boo. Neo just said that. Tando boo. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Tandubu. Oh, you gotta use that. Oh. oh. Tand- oh gosh, it's blessed by the ancestors, that one. <laughs> yeah. Tandubuntu is the EP. That's my other name, by the yes, way. Yes. And so normally I like like when I'm in studio, I do chants and stuff. So wh- wherever I got that, I'll just say featuring Tandubuntu also, mm. which is like, it's my version of oh. Matumani. Oh, Matumani. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I always love, like, it's like on Uhuru I chants. You know, all, all my songs. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I just, I don't credit them, but it's like, there's that, you know. And I think a lot of producers can't sing to it. Like, Kamsa does it yeah. a, a lot. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Hey, Stucky, hit him up. <laughs> oh, my God. Hit him up, Stucky. Hit him up, Kamsa. He has a lot of Kamsa. And he has a credit there, like, featuring Kamsa. Hey, hit him up, hit him up. So, a lot of producers wish they could sing, but hey, it's a bimbo. So, I'll just say, featuring Tattoo Boot. But they had the What was that? What was that, man? Who is it? Who is it? Get a magazine, you know. Hold on. Hey, tell them about the one. Hello. Hello. Customers are coming. Hello. Hey, comes a thousand shit. But he pulls it off. It sounds amazing. Like, I remember Mokis, the second guy you're going to have on thingy. Oh, man. 
on Ben and Lisa. Nah, he's really gonna hate us, man. No, Mocky's no. Nah, you know, no. Mocky's Mocky's posted a story and he was laughing at the camera like, what is this? What is like, What's this? You. Fuck. Tell him tell him I'm not. If ever comes to come to the show, you must do those things. Hey, tell him what's going on. Tell him, tell him what's going on. Hello, boy. Oh, and this one is laughing. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> That's why they're gonna be like, "Where na, where na." Right. <laughs> but Kamza knows what I mean. Like he knows, and he knows he's not gonna keep it up for a verse, like or long notes. All those gonna be those chants. You know? <laughs> and all producers have them. Oh, <laughs> Nah, Gabs won't take off it. He knows the music game is like that. <laughs> Never know with these niggas, game. man. <laughs> Fucking like Even girls. you, you got, you know, so. I took it out. What did he say? Oh, you took it out. Yeah, even on him. You took it out. Yeah, I didn't fit with, with the song, so I took it out. For real? Yeah. On, 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 Yeah, there's a part where. But it's at the end. It's almost like it just kills the. It works. Nah, it doesn't, guys. Even on Skid, all is like. Watch out for chess. You see, whatever. you are judging me with the wrong is. things. Now you are not being you know, truthful now. You can't take me Because then we'll be talking now. about you, Danazo. 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 All guys want to make the song. Yeah. What's uh, pastas? Hey. 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 hey, man, we are here. Podcast hey. and chill. Hey. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Ungo even when they ask you, how sabiin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.